guys, what's going on? It is Edward here as usual. Sorry, I got my geek glasses on when I'm editing. But I wanted to do another, let's do the Whit Lowry Wonder If You Wonder. Uh, good music video. I haven't seen it yet, but I've heard a lot of good reviews about it. And just in general, this one's about five or six years old. So um, this is when he first started getting his momentum uh, a lot younger. But uh, yeah, again, this was another request. Somebody requested for me to literally do all of Whit Lowry. It's pretty it's pretty decent with the copyright, so it's not too bad. So let's go ahead, jump straight into it, and uh, yeah, let's uh, dissect it piece by piece. And sorry, there's no uh, closed captions on this one. This video is pretty old. He always does these piano starts. I like the piano start song. Like, I love it. No, it's been a long time. I hear you doing just fine. Graduated, got a job, and you been working the grind. You're never looking behind. I know you never find me crossing your mind, but I'd be lying if you didn't cross mine. From time to time, I see some of your pictures online. Kindness regards was hard. I left my heart on the line. I wrote a song for you. Took a couple months of my Okay, okay, and if you guys remember from watching my old videos down below, not even a couple videos ago, Kindest Regards is on there, which is also him, I believe, talking about relationships. And obviously, this is another um, a song written about that same relationship. Time, how can you praise him for flowers and a bottle of wine? You'll never be mine. Remember the time I came to see you? I thought it would just be you, but there's 12 other people. You see, there was never we, oh, so we dang. could never be a sequel. Thought it might have been a date that dated anything to see you. Yo, I don't know how many people can relate to that. Like, I've never been in that situation where it's like... You know, like uh, someone invites me over and I think like I've heard my buddies that told me that like, oh, yeah, she said come over. But then it was like she also invited like, you know, half of her classmates and stuff like that. Like I've never been in that situation, but I've seen my friends in that situation. So you've, if you've ever been through that situation, bro, if you don't like it, either say how you feel to that person or if you want to be scared about it, just get out of there, dude, if it puts you in a bad headspace. So that's just my opinion. But I'm nothing more than nothing. You're bluffing, saying you care. Our only real connection is memories that we share. I would never mm -hmm. try to blame me, because blaming you isn't fair. Not that you care. The stress is really starting True. to wear. And in my music, I took a story and I used it. Don't care how you were feeling. I'm busy dropping my new shit. Ah. The people gonna love it. I'm buzzing after I do it. I'm gifted with the curse of honesty. And the truth is, I loved you more than words. I didn't know how to prove it. Can't tell you that in person, but I always cut through my music. Everyone who said they cared isn't there. Now I'm confused. I'm broken and bruised. Lonely, yep. open, empty, and stupid. It's still I. I thought I had it all figured out. Okay, so obviously just in that first verse, hopefully everyone can agree that this is definitely about a, a girl that it sounds like it, it someone he feels that she did him wrong. Like he even said, like, not that you care, not that you're looking back at it, but it's affecting him. And he's like, it's affecting me. So I can relate to that a little bit. Like people really can switch up on you when it comes to, you know, if money's in play in a relationship, whether it's money whether it's just in general, like toxic, certain people being toxic, family members getting involved and stuff like that. It, there's so many messes I can go with a relationship. So I feel like Whit Lowry is definitely more from this generation compared to his new music. Like this was all about him trying to get through and, and writing about it, as he even said in there, is pretty much what it sounds like that got him through and on to to doing better things with his life than worrying about just one random woman's opinion. Because if you think about it in the long run, you think about like that one person that you're so like attached to as far as in a relationship that you have feelings for and all that. When you realize how small we really are, like humility, it becomes a lot easier to understand that you don't even need closure sometimes when a relationship ends. It's just, if it's not good, it's not good. Leave, like I always say. If, if, if you already know like, oh man, would I maybe cheat on this person? Leave. Because if you have to think about it, it's not the right person either way. So it's kind of cool that he's able to express it through his music. So I feel a lot of people could... I can't go along with this right now. It's COVID. I ain't trying to meet nobody. But anyone going through heartbreak or anything going through a relationship where they feel like they kind of got screwed over, should probably list a Whit Lowry from five years ago. So You would never fall for me now. I wonder if you wonder why I'm never at home. I wonder if you... I wonder if you wonder what I'm doing right now. You can hear the pain in my sound. This is such a chill song. I wonder if you wonder why I'm never around. I wonder if you. I wonder if you wonder what I'm doing. I can't lie. Right now. Heard a little when you said you didn't want me. To know I never tried is what continues to haunt me. Every pick I see is you and him is Twitter trying to taunt me. You think I let it go? This is old and exhausting. So oh, yeah. 
So it sounds like obviously she moved on to a new person, but he did admit in there he wasn't able to give her all of her attention. But if you remember from Kindness Regards 2, he was saying like he's trying to balance of showing you that he cares about you, but also too, it's like he needs to make money. He needs to be successful. He wants to do what he does for a living and he loves it. So he's trying to trying to be there, but obviously it sounds like she couldn't understand. And then she just sounds like she just went straight to the next dude, which unfortunately a lot of people are like that. Um, but let's be honest. I mean, we all know people going from relationship to relationship. It's just rebound after rebound. And then it just, it makes things worse for that person. So kind of a bummer. Wish he didn't stress about it. Cause I could, like you hear him say, you can hear the, my pain through my, through my voice and through my music in this song as I write it. It's crazy, man. There's no point getting that stressed out about someone. No point. Bring family in the house is what I thought about. Sometimes I wonder if he'll get that now. See, we know that you picked a different path. Me, I picked a different route. And I can't help but laugh at how this all played out. <laughs> Over me now, I'm hoping you found only the best. Remember when we used to rap that Kanye West? Uh, Graduation and rotation because you like that best. And back then, I didn't want you now. Look, I'm a mess. I See, that, that's what's so funny, too, how things can change up. It's like, I don't think a lot of people can understand that until you get to a certain point in life where it's like, once you get out of a relationship that you've been like, you see that person usually every day or I mean, weekly, whatever, how many times, three, four times a week. And then when that person's gone, you either realize, oh man, there's things I miss. But then you also realize a lot of the good things of having that extra free time, having that person who wasn't a positive person in that free time, because then you feel like, man, my time was wasted. Why was I even doing this? So He's kind of like, why'd I even, why'd I even bother putting up time with this? Why'd I even put effort into it? Which I can agree with, and I'm sure a lot of you guys can too, who can relate to that. But my chest and through me, you can see no spine. My profile picking mm -hmm. lyrics, I've been hiding behind. It looks Girl. like you found the love that I was hoping to find. The only you I love, the one that I create in my mind is still I. I thought I had it all figured out. That's facts, bro. That's facts. I wonder if you wonder why I'm never at home. I wonder if you, I wonder if you wonder what I'm doing right now. The pain in my sound laughed as I fell to the ground. I wonder if you See, wonder what I'm doing. I wonder if you I wonder if you wonder what I'm doing right now. I thought I had it all figured out. You would never fall for me now. I wonder if you wonder why I'm never at home. I wonder if you I wonder if you wonder what I'm doing right now. You can hear the pain in my sound laughed as I fell to the ground. See, and you can hear him keep saying that too. You can hear the pain in the sound. And also, as he's laughing, going to the ground, he's basically saying he's in so much pain at this point. What else can you do? You just start hysterically laughing like this is such a joke. This is so ridiculous. I mean, I've been I've been there. I'm not going to lie. I was there not too long ago. I was there. It was almost a joke. It was like, are you kidding me? Like, what? You're going to claim this, claim that, do this, do that. But at the end of the day, karma karma came and and unfortunately hit that person even though i don't wish anything bad just if you treat people like shit stuff's gonna happen after you walk away from that unfortunately and uh like i always tell people man i know these songs i don't want people to get all depressed and get i know a lot of my friends too who used to always listen to the most saddest songs after breakups and it's like dude don't listen to that type of music now i listen to like rock or like hippie music like you know what i'm saying like I don't even listen to rap half the time just because sometimes even with rap, you know, you got guys like Fora. I don't know if you guys listen to any Fora. That is very depressing. Um, but I love the music. You know what I mean? Like, I love all types of music. It just, unless, like, this is good to listen to when you're not in the state of mind of already still being hung up on someone, if that makes sense. Because obviously, this took him a lot just to write it and just to put it out there. Um, so yeah, so let me know what you guys think down below about this video and what you guys think about with Lowry in general. Um, if you guys want me to keep doing videos, please let me know. I know I get direct messages and messages like on social media, but I haven't gotten anyone in the comments of YouTube to say, Hey man, make this video of Wit Lowry. So if you have a favorite video, let me know those. Cause I'm just going to keep going through every single one until all of them are done. So let me know guys.
Wonder if you wonder why I'm never around. Wonder if you. I wonder if you wonder what I'm doing. I right often now. wonder if you ever did care. I wonder why in my mind True. is the only time you ever were there. See, we were True. friends, but that felt more like pretend this year. It's awfully clear. The real us is what I fear. The one where we were only friends and I act like we dated. And nowadays our conversation is hey, happy belated. And every song I wrote for you, you know you actually hate it. Because you realize that you never felt the same when you played it. Ah. You never cared if I made it. That's why I waited. You know me. See all the love that I've been getting through my phone feels phony. I rhyme a couple words together. Every girl wanna blow me. We're in a world full of people. Yeah, I'm feeling so only if only oh, I can tell myself there's plenty of fish in the sea But see the sea is full of sharks, fake guppies and greed And as I find myself drowning while I'm fighting to breathe I realize that I'm in love with what I thought we could be Oh my gosh, and that is so facts, bro Like that's the song, right? Okay, I don't want to go over it anymore I'll let it play out first I'll, I'll, let, I'll let the finishing play out Oh, that is so true though, man Okay, so like, again, too, like everything you said at the end there, it's so true, though, just about how everything's phony. And in the end, it, it's just what he thought, like he said, in my mind, I thought we could be something else. But in reality, we can't be. It's just not meant to be. That is so true. And that is so facts when it's like in your head, when you get to start to know someone, they could be lying to you like right away. I, like that's one of the biggest things people know too is when you first talk to someone, usually usually people will tell a lot. I don't, I don't do that. I mean, I learned not to do that a long time ago. Like when I was like early 20s, I started just being, hey man, I'm going to say everything about me, even if it's negative and they can be the judge of it. But so many people lie about stuff that it's like, it, it looks fit. Like he's basically just saying like, it's phony. It's fake. You're fake. You're not who you say you are. You're not what you claim to be. There's a lot of people that say things and, and stuff, but they don't actually do it. They don't actually dedicate themselves to a cause. They just say it. They're just talkers. They're just all talk and they don't actually walk the walk. And that's what he's saying. He's like, yeah, like we could have had something great. I could have been doing great with music. I could have been. But in general, in the background, you were hating on it. You were hating on yourself. You were hating on me. You were hating on everything I was doing. And it all turned out to be phony anyways. And I think so many people can relate to that because there is people that try and hold on to relationships when it's like, it's just fake. Like, there's no point anymore. But then either one person's worried about, hmm, I need to try or maybe I'm, I'm not doing enough. And then the other person sometimes is just like, I don't care, but I want this person to take care of me. So then I'm going to, I mean, there's so many different ways you can go with it. And obviously we'll never know the story because he's never talked about, I've, I've looked it up. He's never talked about the girl. He's never mentioned her name anywhere, but he does say, of course, it comes from his own personal experience. So that's all we can really conclude about that one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video as usual. Uh, please feel free to subscribe, guys. Like I said, I it's not me. It's YouTube. Just so you guys know. I cannot see your comments if you're not a subscriber. I think I saw someone asking for videos um, just the other day, but they just started subscribing like yesterday, but they've been here for over a month trolling my channel. So it's kind of weird why you troll the channel, but and ask for requests, but you don't subscribe. So how would you know if it, the video came out? So anyways, guys, you need to subscribe for me to be able to see your comments, but I'm totally okay if you don't want to subscribe because I'm not going to force someone to subscribe if they don't want to subscribe. But if you do, thank you so much for me and my family. Blessings. Hope you guys have a beautiful day as usual. We on to the next video, guys. Hope you guys have a beautiful day ahead of you.